Land Cruiser 70 Series. It's been with us for more than 30 years now. So Toyota's brought it up to the latest Euro emission standards and given it five star safety for some of the models. Now we're driving the double cab variant here because we think it's the most popular for our readers. They're family people, they like touring out back with their families. Unfortunately, that one doesn't get the full five star safety, only the single cab does. Toyota has upgraded the five speed gearbox, hasn't given us a six speed or an automatic like everyone wants, but they've made second and fifth gears longer. It's one of those old school trucks, it's still got its ladder frame chassis, live axles front and rear. So among our judges and our readers, this will be a favorite for four by four of the year. Mate, the Cruiser, that V8, Every time you put your foot down, the power's right there. Whether you're at 800 RPM or two and a half grand, you've always got it right on song, ready to rock and roll. There's still one of the most capable cars there is in the country. I don't exactly make it secret that I like my vehicles on sort of a little bit more of the rough side. I like being engaged when I'm out there and, and sort of enjoying everything, not isolating myself from it with double glazed windows and, and all that sort of jazz. So for me, I jumped in the 79 and I was instantly engaged. I cared about every gear shift, I cared about every corner. You know, you'd sort of come out a couple of them, give it a little bit of a boot full because you just want to hear that engine roar. It was a phenomenal experience. The Land Cruiser, as you'd expect, has, has proved itself to be one of the better performing vehicles here. Diff locks front and rear, loads of wheel travel, plenty of ground clearance, but bush ability and built tough and all that sort of stuff, you, you can't beat it. I I owned a 79 myself a few years ago. This one I find quieter. They've done a lot of little things to it to make it more refined, even down to those little gizmos on the snorkel to cut down a bit of wind noise and it works. So yeah, it's not too bad. I like it actually. I mean, the gearing is, uh, is, has improved a hell of a lot, especially top. Um, traction control works really well. Uh, stability control, that sort of stuff but it's a good all-round package if you're looking for a, a tough work ute, tough four-wheel drive recreational vehicle. I mean, it won't appeal to everybody, but uh, it is a good truck. With the, particularly the first thing that stands out is the comfort of the new seats. When somebody is going to spend six, eight hours a day driving the car, the seats are the first thing you engage with. That is a big plus. Uh, the ride quality is a hell of a lot better. Traction control is very well mannered off-road. It, uh, it's a welcome addition. You made a good thing better. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, that yeah. fifth definitely has, regardless of what you think about the second. The, the fifth gear oh, makes yeah. such, a, such a vast improvement. It should do wonders for the fuel economy. It should, yeah. It used to have 180 litres of fuel capacity. Yep. And now it's 130 or whatever it is with a single tank because of the DPF they've put in there. I still think the price is offensively high for what you get inside. I, I used to think it was offensively high and then I saw the price of that Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> and now I think it's a bargain. <laughs> Anyone feel that Toyota might be resting on their laurels a little bit here? They've had to do a lot of work to keep that thing on the road. Mm. You know, if it wasn't for the Australian market and the Australian buyers crying out for it, they wouldn't have bothered, they would have just discontinued it. You gotta make do with the Hilux. The Land Cruiser is gonna be a strong contender for 4x4 of the year. It may not bring much new product to the market, it's a very old design, it's expensive, it's a bit agricultural, but it does everything so well and I know our judges, being the bushmen that they are, are certainly gonna score that Land Cruiser very well.